Hello everybody, welcome to One Drink, a podcast where we talk about one topic for one drink. I'm Oliver. I'm Matthew. And today on our history show, we are featuring November 30th to December 6th. Oh yeah, more history for you to start your week off and learn something new. That's right, that's right. Brain power. Every week. I love it. We have a ton of it. Yep. We always learn something new, man, every single week. I learn... <laughs> I know I do. Oh yeah, same here. I pretty much never know any of these things. Which, which one? It, like, it gets me excited because like I'm learning new things. Tell you. But it makes me feel like a real idiot. Because I, mean, I like I don't know any of these. True. Like any of these. Yeah. Even like some of the major things yeah. that happen, I'm always like, mm -hmm. oh yeah. Or at least, very least, like I don't know the date that yeah, it yeah. happened. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I would be like, oh right, I got it. Yeah, they landed on the moon. <laughs> you know, but. Well, let's see if people know this one. December 1st, 1913. The first drive-up gas station. Oh. Ha, ha, ha. Now, nice. you could get gas, you know. Right. But this, it opened in Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, unlike the simple curbside gasoline filling stations, an architect purposely designed a, a pagoda-style um, facility for you to go in. Well, that's cool. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So you go in, you shop a little bit. Yeah. So this was the first, you know, gas station store right. type yep. thing. Yeah, yep. like with a convenience store attached yes. to it. That's yes. pretty cool. So also, you you know, and this is what it started. He offered free air for the tires. Nice. What? <laughs> is that an earthquake? <laughs> Water, um, the crankcase service, because the cars, yep. you know. Yeah, <laughs> And tire and tube installation. Oh. Man, so it was that. like the first full service shop. gas station, yeah. Well, yeah. A shop and a convenience store. Everything. Yeah. Sweet. 1913. That's pretty cool. Alright, so I'm gonna go to December 1st, 1955. Huge, huge day in American history. Uh, the birth of the modern American civil rights movement occurred as Rosa Parks was arrested in Montgomery, Alabama uh -huh. for refusing to give up her seat yep. uh, and move to the back section of a municipal bus. Uh, her arrest resulted in a year-long boycott of the city bus system and led to legal actions ending racial segregation on municipal buses throughout the South. Awesome. So, Rosa Parks, man. Yes. I mean, you when you talk about like a real, real OG oh, of yeah. the civil rights movement, yep. my girl Rosa, man. She is definitely a huge, huge part. Yeah. Of. No, you talk about no fucks given. Yeah, she was like this. And a woman back I'm then. I'm gonna sit on this damn bus. Yeah, wherever I want. She's awesome. Get it, girl. Um, December fourth, nine hundred and sixty-three. Something weird Not, saying that. Nine nine sixty-three. Nine sixty-three. So like eleven hundred years ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we're going back. We're this is way back. We're going back. In way time. back. So Pope John the twelfth, right? Yep. Leader of the Roman Catholic Church is temporarily uh, <laughs> deposed by the Roman Council for his wrongdoings. What did he do? This dude was running a brothel out of the <laughs> church. <laughs> That's a pope I can get by. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, boy. Yeah, so. <laughs> wow. You know, you think he's, uh, <laughs> there's a church service, he's the man. Yep. He's, he's going to get blown <laughs> in the back. <laughs> he was kidding. He must have had the busiest church. Everyone went to this in church. The back then, so, wow. Yeah, he got. Um, he was running a brothel. Wow. And he gambled. There was gambling. A so brothel. He, it was just straight to hell. Straight, yeah, that's what they said. They were like, he's going straight to hell. Going straight to hell. <laughs> straight to hell. So, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> oh man. All right. Uh, so I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna bring it a thousand years into the, <laughs> okay. you know, back. You know, it's a similar back. times here. Yeah. Uh, December 2nd, 1982, mm -hmm. uh, the first permanent artificial heart was implanted in a 61-year-old oh, man uh, by Dr. William DeVry at the University of Utah Medical Center in Salt Lake City. Um, Barney C. Clark was the recipient. Um, he was near death at the time of the operation and survived 112 days after the implant. Nice. Yeah. So art, a fake heart. A totally, 100% artificial heart. Wow. Which is crazy. To, I don't understand how they got when that. When was that? 1982. 82. So, I mean, that's... Technology you know, was... What are you talking about? Almost 40 years ago, though. Yeah. Which makes me think, like, 
There's got to be. artificial hearts look like now? What do they look like, though? Probably just, it probably is. Like, has it just got, like, a little motor in it or whatever? It's probably. But does it have batteries? I, dude. It's, What's that connected to? It's got to literally look and feel like a real heart, but yeah. it's fake. You know what right. I mean? Yeah, it's crazy, though, that it, it. Dude, I mean, if they can make one work, what else can they make artificial? So, I read a thing. It's like start of Bionic Man and shit, yeah, dude. So, I read a thing that um, they're close. So, like, if your arm gets amputated right. or your leg, they're close to finding out or implanting a gene or something to where your arm will grow back. That's weird. Yeah. Well, I mean, I I read some studies on that. So they're they're using like um um like geckos. Yeah. And stuff. Like because when you chop their tails off, their tails grow back. Yeah, yeah. So I think similar to that. Yeah. So they're looking into that um scientific proof to where they can do that with human arms. That's crazy. Can you imagine? I wonder I, if it would grow back exactly the same. And that's what if it grew back different. I know <laughs> from your other ones, you got like two. You got like one one hand with sausage fingers, and well, then well, what if one arm is just like <laughs> longer? You know what I mean? You're like you'd have to oh, become a fighter. Imagine that oh, you got this shit. little T Rex arm, and then you got this giant punching arm. But I just <sighs> that's crazy. Science is nuts. It's crazy. That's a whole another yeah. whole another. Yeah, Mind that's beyond us. Yeah. That's, you know, we're just on a little Our science. podcast. Yeah, Our, really science. Our science. We get, we get, we get all excited and like we find a new chair <laughs> to use. You know what I mean? There's people growing arms and shit out there. <laughs> right. It's nuts. And we'll just talk about it. Right. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bring it on. <clears throat> we need some new content anyways. So, December uh, 6th, 1964, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Yeah. Still plays to this day. You know, he had a very shiny nose. He did. Yeah. Yeah. He stuck out from the others. Um, the class television special Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeers premieres on NBC. It aired every year, making it it's the longest Christmas TV special ever. That's crazy. So from 1964 to... Today. I, this didn't, season. Didn't they just play it? Probably. Or it's going to be played it's soon. It's definitely going to be played. And for... I mean, that's a classic. Oh, yeah. You know? I mean, yes, it's the little, you know... Stupid animation... Crap, but. but dude, it's been going on since 1964. Yeah, I mean, I know I've watched it a ton of times I in the have, past. I have too. It's yeah. and I mean, even if I had kids, mm -hmm. I would make them watch it. With oh, 100 percent. My daughter will watch that. Yeah, 100 percent. And she's gonna be like, "What the fuck is this? Wow!" Be like, "It's a classic." <laughs> Shut up. December 6, 1964 <laughs> is when it came out. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you watched my show? <laughs> You're grounded. Go watch my show. Right. Don't come out until you watch all the episodes. <laughs> yeah, there's 60 of them. Shut up! <laughs> yep. Oh, <clears throat> that's funny. All right, December 6th, 1917. Mm -hmm. Two ships collided at Halifax, Nova Scotia, resulting in an explosion that killed 1,500 people and injured 8,000 more. Wow. So 9,500 people total were affected by this. Um, a Norwegian ship called Emo collided with a French munition ship um, oh. called oh. Mont Blanc, uh, <laughs> which was loaded with supplies for the war in Europe, including 5,000 tons of TNT. Okay. So when it blew up, right. a tidal wave oh, I never thought happened because of this massive explosion and destroyed most oh. of Halifax. Wow. In the process. Destroyed most of the city. I never thought of the tidal wave. Yeah, me neither. When I read it, I was like, oh, I was like, 8,000 injured and 1,500 dead. How the hell? I was like, there was 9,500 people on two <laughs> ships in 1917. I don't think so. Right. You know what I mean? I don't think so. But then I was like, oh, wow, it destroyed a city too. Yeah. Five tons. 5,000 tons. 5,000 tons. 5,000 tons. That's that 200,000 pounds. That tidal wave, you just you see it coming. Yeah, that's, it's 200,000 pounds of TNT. Ooh, wee! 100,000 pounds of TNT. Yeah. That's nuts. That's nuts. Yeah. I couldn't even imagine. Yeah. It's like almost like a tsunami, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You just... Hey, look at that huge... You're like, you're like this. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, boy. Didn't we... I know we talked about this, but there were tsunamis or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's been a few that we've talked about on yeah. these shows. Yep. It's nuts. You just... Water. Well, shit. Yeah. Well, I mean, what are you going to do? Are you going to try to run? 
I mean, no, you just because I mean, when that water hits you, it hits. It's gonna You're hit. Done. It's gonna hit you yeah. like uh, uh, you punching me. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, not it's, to mention thirty-five feet tall like, and all that weight. Yeah, you're doomed. So, I wonder if I could tread water. <laughs> December 6th, 1884, the Washington Monument finally was finished. Construction of this first national monument to honor George Washington is completed. Construction began in 1848. That's a long time. Yeah. It's it was just halt- a stick. It was halted because it was it had no funds. Huh. It wasn't funded, so then <clears throat> it was halted from 1854 to 1877. <laughs> they just stopped <coughs> building it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, look at that. I mean, how much did it really cost to fund, though? You ever seen it? You ever been there? No. Okay, so it's not that tall. Right. I mean, it's big, but yeah. it's not like... To well, wait. I guess back then. But it's it's just a... I mean, it's a stick. Yeah. It's a square thing with a pointy bit on it. To halt funding for that long, though? Right, for and you're just for like, twenty years. You don't have money to build the stick. You're like, come twenty on. years. Come on, should we just finish this? Right, come on, <laughs> let's just finish. Right, it. let's just finish the damn thing. But then it finally finished, 1884, and it's one of the most popular. Oh yeah, for sure. You um, can't miss it either. It's it's right there. It's oh yeah, and it has that. You know, there's like that. That where Martin Luther King did his speech. Um, by the pool that's yeah just down the road. Yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah, then Forrest, everybody, yeah, everybody. Forrest Gump did Forrest his Gump, speech. yeah, and he ran through the water. <laughs> Jenna! <Yeah>. Forrest! <laughs> yeah. Forrest! That damn Forrest movie covered everything. Everything. That's one of the greatest movies of all time. It didn't make the tournament. <clears throat> people I had, had a strong horse in that one. I had people did not. I had that one going pretty far. Yeah. In the tournament. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so. That's all I got for the old yeah, history. That's all I got for history this week as well. So, guys, as always, we appreciate you following us. We appreciate the love and the support. Don't forget, you can check out all of our shows, uh, both on Facebook and YouTube, all at One Drink Podcast. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. Yeah. Just takes two seconds. Just click it. A little red. It's down on the thing. I'm sure yeah. Matt will put a... Man, you can arrow. Put, you can put a thing right here, right? <laughs> With a picture of the subscriber. Probably about right here. Let's just put it right here. Just click it. I could. All done. See? you will put that in there. It'll be great. You'll subscribe and you'll get notifications when mm-hmm. we have brand new videos posting and it'll be great. And you Mondays, will like it. Yeah. Mondays for the history shows. Wednesdays for the full length shows. Every other Saturdays for the live shows. Yeah. You're sure to learn something. You're sure to laugh. And if not... All the above. Get the book out. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. It's impossible. I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's impossible not to watch the show and not be entertained. That's true. That's true. Unless you're, you know, like a communist or a psychopath. True. <clears throat> what? We've got some info on that stuff though. Somewhere in these shows. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's there. Yep. It's there. So just watch it. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you so much for all the love and support. We'll catch you on the next one. See you. Greetings, Gladiators. This is Alex. I just wanted to say thank you for supporting One Drink Podcast. They are a couple of friends of mine that are supporting me, and uh, they help me sell my mono prints. These are my mono prints. I make all these to be unique. They are all one of one, so when I print them, I make sure my graphics are laid down in different spots every time. And these thick hoodies all get the headpiece, so that's pretty cool, I think. Cheers to that. Um, <clears throat> also, I just wanted to let you know there is a discount code for you guys. One drink. If you punch that in as you're checking out, you get 15% off. So I will see you soon, and thanks again for the love. Peace.